Trying to fight for federal compensation, a St. Louis advocacy group will soon head back to Washington, D.C. to get financial support for radioactive waste victims. They're committed. This group is the sixth time going in a year, and this time around may be the most important visit yet. Our Justina Coronel has been tracking this story for months and joins us in studio. Justina. Well, the group Just Moms STL has been advocating for change for more than a decade, and I'm told to make it this far is a huge accomplishment, but more needs to be done. And this program will save lives. And that program is racing against the clock. Co-founder of the advocacy group Just Moms STL puts the pressure on. So we are going to Washington, D.C. next week. This is our sixth trip. The persistence is to pass RICA. RICA is the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. If passed, it would expand and compensate victims of radioactive waste in the St. Louis region. And that waste is connected to the first atomic bomb. This is the time. This is the time. RICA passed in the U.S. Senate. U.S. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley and Senator Eric Schmidt were a part of those efforts. It's a big, important step and sends a message. So we passed that out of the Senate in a bipartisan way. It's sitting over in the House, and uh, we hope they move on it. The two were among 29 members of Congress who wrote this letter urging Speaker Mike Johnson to pass RICA. This is an absolute tragedy, and it has absolutely robbed families and stolen lives. The urgency became even more apparent. On Friday, a visitation for Scott McClurg happened here in Florissant. The North St. Louis County native and Southern Illinois University Carbondale professor died after a 14-year fight with brain cancer. He grew up playing in Coldwater Creek. His story is, is very raw to us right now. I didn't know him personally, but it's why we're going back to D.C. next week, because he's not alone and his family's not alone. We, we have to get this program. We deserve to be in it because of people like this individual. It's not going to bring him back, but maybe it can help his family. And honestly, it sure does help others in the future. Rika's future is on the line. Only time will tell what's next. Our support for this grows. And it's like, eventually, it's enough to tip it. It's just as that happening before June 7th. And I still feel optimistic for it. I really do. The RICA program expires June 7th. And while Chapman is hopeful, they're ready to fight next year to get it updated and brought back.